Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a drugstore makeup starter kit. So this is perfect if you've been wondering about like which foundation should I try and I have oily skin, I want a good foundation, which one should I buy? I have dry skin, uh, I want a good foundation. I think that's one of the questions that I get the most is like which foundation should I get? Like what is a good bronzer from the drugstore? And just like different things like that, like a good contour kit, good mascara. I talk about everything in this video and this is perfect if you're a beginner, but also if you just want to learn a little bit more about makeup, about good products from the drugstore, I think this video will be for you. I actually just filmed a beginner makeup tutorial on the look that I'm on right now. This makeup look comes out after this video, so in a couple of days this look will be out and I will talk in detail about how I apply different products and why I apply it and you know, you can just see how I did this makeup look. But today we're going to talk all about the products and which one I recommend and I think we can just go ahead and get started. For primers, I know a lot of people swear by primers and I know some people just don't like them. If you're a beginner, you definitely do not need a primer. A lot of professional makeup artists, and I think every professional makeup artist that I know about, do not use primers. Primers just does not do that big of a difference and I don't think they're super important so if I was you I would just skip it but something that is really great and I think a lot of people would really like is a illuminating glowy primer just to make the skin extra glowy and beautiful so this one from NYX this is the born to glow illuminating primer so you just get the most beautiful glow when you use this product and it's just really pretty if you want a glowy skin so if you want that you should definitely check out the NYX illuminating primer it's really really good then for foundations, I think it depends on your skin type. I think you have to kind of just like test it out and see on your own skin how things look. But there are different foundations that I think are better for each like skin type. So starting with dry skin, I think this is such a good one for dry skin. This is a Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This has like medium coverage, gives a beautiful, beautiful glow on the skin. Perfect everyday foundation. So this is a good foundation, especially if you have dry skin. This next foundation is good for all skin types, especially if you have like a dry to normal to combination skin. This is perfect. This is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. This is really good, has medium coverage, it's really buildable, it looks super beautiful on the skin, looks very healthy, which is called Healthy Mix, and I definitely think that name is really, really uh, perfect for this foundation. It looks so pretty, it's a luminous glow, and I can use this one, and I have an oily skin, so I think if you have oily skin, you can definitely use this one, you just probably have to blot one more time than if you use a really mattifying foundation. So the last one that I want to talk about is if you have oily skin, which I have, so this is like my favorite from the drugstore. This is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation and this type is the combination to oily skin. It lasts for so long on my skin. It's what I have on my face right now and it covers so great and it just keeps my skin matte so long. And I know there's so many people that do not want to use foundations. They just want to have something light on the skin. They don't want to go crazy with foundation. Not that you go crazy with foundation because you know what I mean. But if you just don't want like a thick layer of foundation on your skin, a BB cream can be really, really great to use. So this one from Garnier, this is the BB cream. This is the long tube and this one is for combination to oily skin. This is my favorite BB cream and this one works on every skin type. If you have extremely dry skin to extremely oily skin, I think you will like this. This is the best BB cream I've ever used. It has a great coverage, but it feels super light on the skin. You can just apply it with your fingers if you want to and it's so easy to use and it's so beautiful. This is one of my most used makeup products. This is perfect if you go to school or if you just go to work, you just wanna have something super light on your skin. So then for concealers, I actually think that the drugstore has really, really great concealers and I think Maybelline has a really great one. So I have two favorites. I couldn't just choose one, I'm sorry, but you definitely don't need both of these, but I just wanted to show you guys so you have some options. So the first one is the Maybelline Fit Me F Concealer. This is so good. I love this. looks super healthy on the skin, has great coverage last long on the skin just really looks awesome this is like my favorite the drugstore concealer and i think it's so good i love it so much but another one that i just absolutely love as well this is so good this is the uh, maybelline age rewind concealer this one i use today and it has such a great coverage but it looks so pretty on the skin i love it this one just cancels out the under eye circles so well 
it covers like blemishes and things like that so well it's just such a good concealer i really recommend this one i just couldn't choose between those two i think they're both so great and this one is like an optional product but i think it's so pretty to have like a highlighted look so i love to use like a highlight pen and this one is from l'oreal and it's called la touche magique <laughs> so this is a highlight pen it looks like this and you just kind of paint it on your face it's so pretty i absolutely love this product and it's just so easy to just highlight the face then I think it's important to set your foundation because if you want your foundation to really last, a powder is an essential to make it actually stay on your face. So the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder is my favorite one from the drugstore. This is great if you have dry skin and also if you have oily skin. I have oily skin and this is the most mattifying and long wearing powder I've ever used. I love it. I swear by this one. I absolutely love it. You guys have heard me talk about it so much. And then for contour, I know that the drugstore does not have like the biggest selection of contour kits, but I definitely do like the NYX contour kit the best out of everyone that I've tried. I love this one. I use it so, so often. This comes with eight different shades. So these two in the middle right here, these light two, are really great to set the concealer and the highlight. And these two at the end here have some shimmer to them. So you can mix them if you want to just to create a really nice highlight. This one is really pretty if you're really fair. And this one is really pretty if you're a little bit darker. You can definitely mix them as well if you want to. And also, this one is a really pretty color to contour. I used it today. And these two I really like to bronze up my skin with. So if you're like darker in your skin, you can definitely use this one to bronze. But I really like to use these two. So I just think this is such a good one. I think we can just like continue with the face products. So the next product is a bronzer. This is from NYC. This is the Sunny Bronzer. This is how it looks like. Perfect bronzer for like a light to medium skin tone. I love this one. It's completely matte and has a beautiful tone. And it's a really great drugstore bronzer to pick up if you want one. The next one is blushes. And I feel like blushes are really individual and what you like. Some people like a really pink blush. Some people like a peachy. Some people like coral. Some people like plummy colors. And just so many different colors to choose from. So I thought that this was really hard. So I'm just going to show you a few that I really like on my skin tone. And also one that I know is better for darker skin tone. So my favorite drugstore blush ever is the Milani Luminoso Blush. This is perfect for a fair to medium skin type. I know people that are super fair love this blush. And I also know that people with a medium skin tone really like this one. And I just think it's such a good blush. has a beautiful sheen to it. just looks really, really pretty. I have it on my skin right now. And it's my favorite drugstore blush. So this is really good. Another one that I really, really like uh, is the Jordana blushes. They're really, really good, actually. And this one is in the color Touch of Pink. I would say it's more of like a melony peachy color. So pretty. I love this one. So this is my favorite matte blush. So good. I really, really like these. So check out the Jordana blushes. They're really, really good. And also if you want more of a pink blush, I swear by this Rimmel blush in the color Adam Catwalk. This is my favorite pink blush I've ever used. Normally I'm really, really picky with pink blushes and I never really use them because I think that they are too pink. <laughs> but this one has a little bit of that warmth to it. And I just think it's so pretty. So this Rimmel blush is so good. So these next two I can definitely still use and I really like them. But these are really good if you have more of a medium to darker skin. And this one is from NYX and it's called Mocha. This one definitely does work on a darker skin tone as well because it is a darker blush. But I can definitely like share it out if I want to and still like rock it. The next one is a little bit warmer in the color so if you want more of like a burnt orange type color I love these shades and this is the sleek blush in the color coral so this I can still use I really really like it but if you have a darker skin I think you will really really like this. It's more of like a burnt orange coral shade really really pretty. Then on to highlighters. I'm going to show you three different ones. It depends if you want more of a natural highlight, if you want more of a really intense strong highlight and and the other one is just kind of something in between so I'm going to start with the more natural highlight this is so pretty I've talked about this one a lot on my channel this is the hard candy tiki highlighter oh this is such a pretty highlighter perfect if you're a little bit older or if you're a little bit younger you don't really want that super intense 
like shimmery frosty highlight this is so good this is perfect for like a wedding if you just want to look like you're glowing from within really nice if you're a little bit younger and not want to go too crazy with a highlight this is just so good and I love it so the next one is kind of the one in between but this is definitely more on the intense side but it is not as intense as the other one that I'm going to show you so this is the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips. I really like these and this color in Vegas Strip is my favorite one because it's more golden-y. As you can see, it's so, so pretty. It has like a golden, light gold color. You can mix all of the colors together if you want to, but you can also concentrate it on the lighter colors if you're lighter. And then if, then if you're darker, you can use the darker colors. Then if you want a super intense highlight, I love the sleek highlight palette in the color Solstice. This is just such a good highlight and it's such an intense highlight, but it is really, really great. I really like it. Then I think we're done with the face products. So the next thing that I wanna talk about is a brow pencil that is my favorite. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I love this one to fill in my eyebrows. I think this is such a good one. If you want a really great eyebrow pencil from the drugstore, this one is so, so good and it's all you need. It's all you need for your brows. So moving on to eyeshadow, I'm going to start with an eyeshadow primer that I really like. This is the NYX HD primer. So if you feel like your eyeshadow starts to like crease and just like patch off the, during the day and just not look pretty, I think it's such an important step to use a eyeshadow primer. So check out this one from NYX, it's really good. So for good eyeshadows from the drugstore, I think the one that I think is the best brand is Sleek. I think Sleek has really, really good eyeshadows. And this palette is such a good basic everyday palette that I think a lot of people will like. This is called the Eau Naturelle <laughs> palette. And also Sleek has a more colorful palette, so if you want to try out some different colorful. I really like this one, which is called Sunsets. I really love colors like this. I think it's so pretty. But you can also get other like colorful palettes from Sleek. And I just think the quality is so great. Super pigmented and super buttery and amazing. I really like them. Then for mascara, you guys know my favorite one. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I'm just wondering how many times I talk about this mascara on my channel. Like, I probably talk about it in almost every single video. I'm sorry, guys, if you're tired of this. But if you haven't tried it, you should. It's so good. I love it. It is my favorite one. I just think it's so good. And I think this is really good because it's not too wet, not too dry. And it just really stays on the lashes. And then for lip liner, I really like the Jordana Easy Liner liners. I think they're really nice, stay on the lips well, look really pretty. I love this color called Tawny. Really, really pretty color. I think this works for a lot of different looks. I have it on today. And a lip liner just kind of lines your lips and fill in your lips, which is really nice. It also makes your lips look a little bit bigger. And I just love using a lip liner. And I also feel like my lipstick stays on better with a lip liner. Then for lipstick, this is such a hard one because I have a lot of ones to show you guys, but it's just that I want to show you different colors because I know everyone is so different and I know some people like love red lipstick and want to wear a red lipstick every single day and some people are just like, I just want the nude colors. Some people like more burgundy colors. So I just want to show you some that I really like. So I'm going to start with regular lipsticks. So I'm going to start with two nude colors that I think are so pretty. The first one is called Ferris Nude and it is from L'Oreal. If you have been watching my channel for a long time, you know how much I love this one. It is so pretty. So I'm just going to swatch it on my hand and here you can see the color. Such an easy color. I think every skin tone can use this lipstick. And I just think it's such a pretty color. It just looks good with every look that I do. It looks pretty throughout the day, easy to reapply, really good one. Also really like these H&M lipsticks and this color in, in a nutshell is my favorite one. So pretty. Oh, love these. Also want to show you guys if you want a nude color, a pinky nude color. So this is a beautiful pink shade and this is called Primrose and it's from Revlon. This is such a pretty color to use with a smoky eye and also just on an everyday look if you want more of a pink lip i think this is a staple it looks so so pretty on the lips so the next color is a red color so this is the covergirl hot passion lipstick really really good a red color I would say this is really nice and I bought this because a uh, Taylor Swift used this red lipstick this is her like staple red lipstick so that's why I bought this and I want to swatch it right here really easy to use stays on really really well and I just really like this it's a really nice red lipstick so if you want that like Taylor Swift red lip 
you should try this because this is the one that she used. And the last lipstick that I want to talk about is one from Maybelline. Maybelline has really great lipsticks, first of all. <laughs> but this color in Divine Vine is a really cool color for the fall time. So this is a perfect, like, burgundy, vampy lip that I know a lot of people like to use in the fall time. Here you can see the color. So this is the perfect burgundy shade with a little bit of a brown undertone, but not too much. This is really good and also a very comfortable dark lip. So like a couple of years ago, this category would probably not be here because it was not that popular. But now I feel like everyone wants a really matte lips. I'm going to show you a brand that I really like for uh, liquid lipsticks. And I love NYX for liquid lipsticks. They have so many beautiful colors. I love the formulation of them. I really, really like these. So they have the NYX Lingerie, they have the Liquid Suede, and they have the Soft Matte Lip Creams. My favorite ones, I think, must be the Liquid Suede and also really like the Lip Lingeries. I think this is a really perfect color. This is like that typical Instagram baddie lip color that we see all over Instagram. Beautiful, like brown, cool, matte lip. Uh, the difference between these two formulation-wise is that these are a little bit more comfortable and not as dry, and these ones dry completely. So this color is called Satin Ribbon. Satin Ribbon, I don't know really how to say it. This is the color that I'm on right now. So these are a little bit more dry and dry completely matte. Here you can see the Satin Ribbon color. I love these, and I think the lip lingeries have so many beautiful colors. Also one that I love from the Liquid Suede line is uh, Soft Spoken. Really pretty color. Reminds me a lot of Lolita Liquid Lipstick from Kat Von D. Then for lip glosses, I think the two brands that I absolutely love for lip glosses are NYX. I think NYX just does such great lip products. But these butter glosses are so good. They are probably my favorite lip glosses ever. This color is called Creme Brulee, and, and I think this is my favorite lip gloss, like, ever. So this is so pretty because it's nude, but it has a little bit of pink to it. And it is pigmented, but not too pigmented. And it's, like, the perfect nude lip gloss. They are so comfortable to use, and if you haven't tried these butter glosses, you should definitely try them. So the last product that I want to talk about today is a, another lip gloss, and this is the Maybelline Color Elixir Lip Gloss. And these are so, so good. I love these. This color is called Nude Illusion. It's right here. So pretty. I hope you guys like this video and found some inspiration for products that you can check out from the drugstore. So don't forget to check out my next video, which is the makeup tutorial and how I use all of these products on my face. And it's the look that I'm on right now. <laughs> so it will come out in a couple of days on my channel. And if you see this video when the video is out, I will link it right here and also in the description box. So I hope you guys have had a wonderful day so far and I love you and I hopefully will see you in my next video. Bye guys!